Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I am your 2020 Sangeet bride. Roll in that intro. I actually forgot to film this look for you guys. All of the other looks that you guys have been watching were pre-recorded and I kind of like tried to fit this in. My henna was so beautiful and so strong, but I had a family emergency and I couldn't film this. So I've kind of tried to squeeze it in somewhere and let's hope that it gets uploaded at the right time. So this is my 2020 Sangeet look. Very, very minimal, very, very clean. I've left the kind of like heavier makeup for the bridal finale. My dupatta is actually a separate piece dupatta from Exclusive which is a Birmingham based shop but I do believe that they post out online. My sari is also from Exclusive, and my flower jewellery is actually from classic trends underscore flower on Instagram. The mala necklace that I'm wearing can actually be elongated down or up but we've kind of kept it like up over here just to cover like that neck area. This is from Ishihak on Instagram. These bangles are also from Ishihak on Instagram. So if you guys like what you see and you'd like to see how I've created it then keep on watching okay guys let's go in with some lip prep i'm going in with the huda beauty silk balm i am telling you guys i have been using this for the last few weeks and i have had so many compliments on my lips to the point where i went to get my brows microbladed and i've had the microblader asking me where i get my lips done and i told her i don't do my lips and she actually didn't believe me and then she started um sort of prodding into my lips and obviously one of the claims of this silk balm is that it really helps with continued use to plump your lips so I guess there's some truth in that from like the amount of compliments that I've been receiving recently. For this makeup look, it's going to be so minimal and so clean that we're really going to be relying on skincare products to really help that glow come through. I'm then going in with a serum for my face. This is the L'Occitane Overnight Renewal Serum. This is actually supposed to be a overnight serum, but I am loving since I've been playing with it, using it in the daytime. And oh my God, it just leaves such a lovely glow and youthful glow to your skin. I'm going to use my Luxonic device and I'm going to put it on the cold setting and put it on sonic mode to really press that in and I really want my skin to feel and look plump today so I'm going to press that serum in. I'm going to run this on my under eyes as well just to get that blood circulating and just help with the skin looking a little bit more plumper. If you have serums you need a Luxonic in your life. It just polishes your skin to another level. It helps press in all of your serums and it just maximizes the benefit of whatever your serum is supposed to do. Please tell me you guys can see that glow and the polish already. Can you see how plump my skin looks already? I'm telling you everybody needs a Luxonic in their life. Right to further hydrate my skin I'm going to go in with the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. This is not a paid promo. Basically when they get sent in I start using them immediately and anything that I like just makes it to my videos and I can just kind of feature them. You can't even see anything was the point. It's almost like whipping cream. It's whipped so well, so fluffy. Oh my God, it feels so good. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? This is like really good stuff. Dry skin ladies, you are gonna love this. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. Look Please tell me, I'm a chatting wuss. No, look. It's good, isn't it? I know, amazing. I know, and you can't have any. <laughs> All right, I put some in a pot for ya. Oh my God, the red felt tip came off. <laughs> Guys, I give up! <laughs> For my under eye prep, I'm gonna go in with the Superdrug Vitamin C Hydrating Gel just to kind of, you know, hydrate them until we go back in with some makeup. Okay, as I mentioned before, I've had my brows microbladed. So right now they're going through their microblade peeling stage at the moment. So I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows and come back. Oh, easy. Oh my God, my brows was... Let them drop. <laughs> I give up today. That's it. You, you all want to come down? Y'all can come down. This is a bad sign. I don't think I was meant to film my sangeet today. Let it all come down. I'm okay. Okay, so for my eyelid base, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in the shade C10. Firstly, I love the wand on this. It reminds me of like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer Wands. It's going to draw and define under the brow without being too neat. I don't need to be neat today. I love the consistency of this concealer. Not a thin at all i do like a thick concealer this is nice and thick for drugstore like i definitely definitely do give this a 10 out of 10. okay and going in with eyeshadow i'm using literally one eyeshadow color from the huda beauty nude rich obsessions palette i'm going in with this shade here and for my new brow shape area i'm literally just going to go in on a left right left right motion and 
pull it out gently past my brow or the tail of my brow i'm not even going to go in with any brow highlight i'm literally keeping this so minimal and this motion of a straight shadow line really really works for me it's so easy to do my eyeshadow now and taking the revolution black liquid liner i'm literally just going to do a straight top liner very very simple and that's it we're literally done with the eyes it's supposed to be a very barely there kind of look very very minimal for lashes i'm going in with the Faye Lashes Limited Edition set. This is in the style Miami. These are one of my favorite, favorite styles from her line of lashes. Look how fluttery and wispy they are. It even comes with its own little rose gold applicator cute i do have a discount code for this i don't make anything on the discount codes they're literally purely set up for you guys and i like to help you guys out and while my lash glue is drying on my lash line and on my falsies i'm going to go in with my color corrector using the nyx dark circle concealer in the shade 04 I'm just going to use it with a kabuki brush as i usually do not forgetting the inner corners of the eyes very very important all over any areas of concern where we have dark pigmentation on the corners of my lips you guys know this is like a signature thing that i need to do with my color corrector yeah yeah devilish hi Rappa. okay bye 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 Okay, and because I'm leaving the foundation out, I'm gonna go in with my concealers. And for the concealers, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. And it's a really nice salmon tone. I'm just gonna whack that on to my under eye area. And I am never stingy when it comes to under eyes and concealers. Taking my damp beauty blender, I'm literally gonna press this in, concentrating from the inner corner, pushing it in, pushing it out. You guys know this it's not something new and because this is salmon toned any areas that i still see any blue peeking through i kind of just like to go over them which is normally like just at the beginning of the bridge of my nose i have like this blue hue i think it happened when um one of the babies was small and they whacked like a milk bottle into my face when they were sleeping once and ever since then it was bruised and the bruise never went away welcome to motherhood guys i'm then gonna go in with the same concealer that i used for my lid space which is the revolution concealer and hydrate straight concealer in the shade c10 and i'm just going to use that as my finale concealer lovely nice warm tone nothing too bright nothing too harsh wow i love the way it blends on the under eyes i love the way it sits i see why they called it concealer and hydrate it feels very hydrating okay let's go in with these lashes for setting powder, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Veil setting powder and I'm going to pick some up with my damp beauty blender and press this on very gently, like so. For my contour powder, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm going to take the middle shade, which is absolutely hit pan and about to finish on me. I'm just going to bronze up the areas of my face connecting these areas together very important keeping that amalgamation going and just gonna wipe away my setting powder for blusher i'm gonna use my charlotte tilbury cheek to chic swish and glow pillow talk blusher it's such a pretty shade i love using this whenever i've done a no foundation face for lips i'm gonna go in with a velvet lipstick from makeup academy and this is in the shade hotline no it's nice Love it. I'm going to finish up with the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. And it's actually a mist. It smells amazing. And it just leaves this. Can you see that, guys? It just leaves this amazing finish. For mascara, I'm going to go in with my Il Maquillage Mascara. Okay, and that's my makeup look complete. You guys will notice that I didn't go in with any brow highlight. I have no highlight on the high points of my face. I want my skin to do the talking. I want my skincare to do the talking. I literally want to keep it so minimal so that when it comes to the bridal look, it's just wowzers in every way. Right, yo, let's move on to the hijab style. You guys will see this hijab tutorial on IGTV. It has gone live today. So please make sure you guys go and find it on my IGTV. TV on Instagram and go follow. It is my Sangeet today. I am a very busy woman. I am bringing in the hijab stylist Dot Mua, aka Kulsum, my friend. And this is the finished Sangeet look. We basically took one of these flower bracelets and we kind of attached it 
to the hijab instead to give it that illusion of hair. I kind of liked it. Very, very different. Very, very fun. Very, very loud. Very, very Sangeet inspired. If you guys would like to see the hijab tutorial for this and how we pinned down the flower jewelry, then head over to my IGTV on Instagram right now where we have uploaded the kind of hijab tutorial um, speed through for you guys. And there's also a teaser up on my Instagram and you guys have seen the sequence of how I've been uploading. So go and enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this look for you guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I can't express this every week. Subscribing to my channel is so important for me right now. So please support, please subscribe. Oh my God, next week's video is going to be the bridal finale look. It is, in my opinion, killer but i hope you guys enjoy it what are you doing There's stop noise. making noise oh, stand in one place yeah but i call and everything's so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you guys are having your sangeet anytime soon i wish you all of the best because it's all downhill after that <laughs> i was like <laughs> I'm joking, 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 joking. anyway i shall see you all in another video inshallah until next time be yourself keep it real assalamualaikum always be honest keeping it modest